For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, PlayStation Network codes, Microsoft points and lots more, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Link will be in the description and don't forget to use the promo code Tobias to save yourself as much money as possible. What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to, as you can tell by the title, we are going with another episode of my Tottenham Hotspur Career Mode Challenge. This is episode number 7. Yesterday I did in fact upload a double upload, I uploaded episode number 5 and 6 for you guys as on the day before, which was a Saturday. Uh, trying to work out my days here. You guys did smash the target of 5,000 likes. So yesterday, as I promised, I delivered a double upload for you. I just want to take a little bit out of this intro. And I do just want to say you guys are loving this series so, so much. It means so much to me. The likes, you're going absolutely ham on. Uh, I just want to say that it is greatly appreciated. And as long as you guys keep it up, I promise I will keep this uh, episode, this series up. And as, so as long as you hit the target of 5,000 likes on every single episode, I'll promise you a double upload every single day. So, thank you for all the support you have been showing. It has been absolutely terrific. But anyway, getting into today's episode, as you will have seen yesterday, if you did watch episode number six, I hope you have because I'm about to ruin it for you. I did get a four month injury with Varane. Now, he is my by far strongest defender that I have uh, in this career mode. And unfortunately, he did manage to pick up an injury, and it is four months, which was absolutely devastating. But nonetheless, these things happen in football. You just have to work your way around it and uh, do the best you can with the players that are fit. So, our first game we're going to be playing in today's episode is, in fact, going to be a round of 16 Capital One Cup away. I want to stress the fact it is actually going to be away. We're taking a trip to Stamford Bridge, so I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for a tough fixture. Then we do have uh, Southampton, which is at home, which is nice. And then we do have the uh, all-important group stage game of the Europa League, which if we do manage to pick up three points, that will guarantee us qualification. It won't guarantee us uh, the top spot. I will show you the table later on when we get to that fixture, but it will guarantee us qualification out of the group stage if we do pick up three points there. But anyway, let's focus with our first game that we do have in hand. I'm going to be going in with a strong, strong squad for this one. So uh, Danny Rose is going to be coming off there. And then we're going to be playing Nastasic there. Right, this is it. We're going with our strongest squad possible. I think that's already it, actually. Paulini, I need to be playing him because I know last episode you will have seen uh, he was getting a little bit upset at the fact he hadn't been playing too much, which I, I, would, I did actually feel kind of bad for because I do agree I haven't been playing him as much as I would, as I would, have, would have liked to be have been playing him. Uh, so he is going to be starting. Soldado has been smashing things up in the Capital One Cup. Uh, so he is definitely, definitely going to be there. And I'm just trying to think, is there anything else that I want to be changing around here? Benzema, Ericsson. Ericsson, I'm laughing to myself. Ericsson managed to get his first ever goal for Tottenham last episode. And I honestly hope it is the start of good things. 22 years old, 85 rated overall, and he's only managed to score once. But anyway, let's get straight into this game. Uh, let's just see what this is here. It's a press conference. Can I still attend it? Yes, I can. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna unnerve them. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a risk there and unnerve them. I've never done that before, um, but yeah, we've done it now. Let's go. Right, let's go. Come on. I really, really. It's got right. They've got Azpilicueta out, so uh, that's a good start. I want to try and get as far as I can in the Capital One Cup. I've had a lot of tough fixtures already. I've already had to knock out Manchester City, and it would be absolutely incredible if we could knock out Chelsea. Right, kickoff is underway, and we've gone one nil down to Fernando Torres. The bastard that uh, Nepenthes has picked up. Oh, I don't want to get knocked out. I really, I don't, I can't stress it enough to you guys how much I don't want to get knocked out. Oh my god, and we're getting knocked out. Please, unless we can get an equaliser, it's 3 1. We've been knocked out. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much game, set, and match. 3 1. Oh. English League Cup. Chelsea three, Tottenham Hotspur one. Ipswich Town nil. Oh, that's actually really annoyed me that. Rotherham United one, Liverpool one. But you know, I'm I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna. These things happen in career mode. You can't expect to win everything. 
Oh my god, I really, I really, really, oh, I'm, that, I'm actually devastated. That's two shitty things have happened to the team in the last two episodes. And uh, as you saw from that message, I went a little bit silent there. I was, I was reading this message from the board. The last match was one we wanted to see, if we didn't want to see end in a defeat. And we are concerned it may have a negative attitude. Pretty, it, will, it will affect the team negatively, pretty much. They, the board would like to reassure me that they are behind me. Ah fuck! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna praise the uh, praise the team here because I feel, oh, I'm actually feeling shit. What's happened here? Archer is out. Are you fucking kidding me? He's getting injured in training. Thank the Lord, it's not someone important. All right, they've reclined their offer. Where the hell is the? Uh... Oh, I can't even attend that press conference. That's a bitch. What am I gonna do here? I need to change things up. Obviously, something wasn't working in that game. Um, the defense was absolutely shocking. I'm I'm almost certain that if we did have Varane for that game, we would we would have had a better result because uh, our, our defense is definitely the weakest area in this team. Right, let me see who I am bringing on. Who am I going to bring on for this game? Uh, Rodriguez, you can come on. Levetsi, you can go there. Uh, I'm going to play Kapue. No, I'm not. Paulino, you can have another game, actually. I don't really want to be bringing... Oh, I need to... Oh, shit. Archer's our goalkeeper. I didn't even know that. So now, we literally don't have a backup goalkeeper. So if... If Lloris gets injured, I'm genuinely absolutely screwed all right okay we need to try and we need to try and do the best we can in the Premier League we want to be picking up as many points as possible come on we need a result here we need to, to bounce back that's what I'm talking about Soldado 40 14th minute goal Luke Shaw's managed to pick himself up a yellow card followed by Walker Ericsson that is what I'm talking about two goals in two episodes and so, come on, Saldana, bang yourself a hat trick. We need to boost morale here. Oh, we didn't want to get a defeat in that Capital One Cup game. Soldado has managed to get himself the hat trick from the penalty spot. Where else? In the 88th minute, and we've managed to get ourselves a convincing 4 0 victory, which is absolutely awesome. I'm going to go to this press conference and I'm going to praise. I don't know yet. I'm going to see who I will praise when I've had a look at. Um, had a look at a few things. So, as that was our last uh, Premier League game of this episode, what I do want to show you is the uh, the table of how we stand in the Premier League. We've had three three different games from three different tournaments in this episode. There you can see we are flying high at the at the number one spot. We are f closely followed though, however, by Manchester United. They are not giving up the chase. We're 11 games into the season now. Arsenal are in third spot, followed by Liverpool at fourth. Chelsea and City are both sat there in 6th and 7th. So uh, 11 games into the season and they're still not in uh, European football, a position of European football, which is quite interesting. Southampton, who we did just slaughter, uh, are currently at the bottom of the league, only having picked up 5 points from 11 games. But yeah, let's have a look at the table of this Europa League fixture. You can see here we've played 3 games. Um, and we've won three, which is absolutely awesome. We've scored three go uh, nine goals in our three games, which is an average of three goals per game. And we are still... I don't want to jinx it. I'm touching wood. I'm rubbing my desk here, which is a little bit weird. I shouldn't be. But we are still yet to concede a goal in uh, in the Europa League, which is absolutely, absolutely awesome. That just shows how good our defence have has been. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play... I believe we've got a fixture coming up soon. We've got Palace coming up in like two days. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to play a really, really weak squad here. We're top of the we're top of the table. We don't really need to be uh, trying too hard. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest Soldado here. Uh, I'm going to try and put out like the, a weaker squad as possible. See if we can. Uh, so Paulinho can come on for Kapue. Aaron Lennon can come on for. All right. Let's get uh, let's get some uh, let's get some young defenders in. Let's get some young. Friars, should we get uh, should we get Friars in? I think I might give him a give him a starting spot. Let's give him yeah. Let's stick him there. His stats don't look too bad. He can play as a centre back and a left back. So um, 
Right, okay. I'm playing, like, literally the weakest squad I can. I don't think I could make another substitution uh, to have a weaker, a weaker player starting. I don't think. But anyway, that is what we are going to be going into this... Uh, he still wants a pay rise. Oh, are you kidding me? You, I've still not used you. Right, let's go to this press conference then really quickly. Just before... I'm going to praise them. I'm, 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 still, I'm still sat here not being able to believe we've been, we've been defeated in the Capital One Cup like that. It's absolutely heartbreak for the Spurs fans. I honestly thought I was going to be trying to get as much silverware as possible for the fans and for the team this season. But... um. Fingers crossed the Panthers gets knocked out as well. That's actually all I'm thinking. Right, we're into the last game of the episode. It is a um, European... I was about to say Champions League game. Then I'm getting carried away with myself. It is a Europa League game. If we win this, it will mean we definitely qualify. No way. No way Lloris has been injured. I can't believe that. I genuinely cannot believe that. What? No way! Both our goalkeepers have been injured in the same epi in the same episode. I'm, I'm completely ignoring the fact we've just won two 0 Musa and Kapue. We don't have a goalkeeper. We don't have a goalkeeper. I don't care. Just release him. Oh my god! <laughs> Hugo Lloris is out for four days. Which means they're going to have to play Crystal Palace with a centre-back in goal. Both are... The bo what the hell? So Hugo Lloris got injured in that game. And then Archer got injured during training. So literally, we don't have a goalkeeper. I'm going to quickly see. Can you pick up... Can you pick up uh, free agents outside of the transfer window? Is that possible? I don't even have I don't even have a decent wage to pay anyone. We're not we're not even gonna be able to get him in time. Oh my god. I, I'm I'm literally sat here thinking what to do. You guys, can you help me out? What the fuck am I going to do? Hugo Lloris and Archer are both injured. So I think I'm going to have to play, like, Vertonghen in goal. I think I might have to. Wow. Okay, so you guys, can you let me know who I should put in goal for the next episode? We don't have a goalkeeper, and we have to play Crystal Palace. Thankfully, it's not the best team in the world. He will be back. Fingers crossed. Touch wood again. We're touching wood way too many times in this episode. He'll be back for the Manchester United game. But yeah, as it stands, we are without a we're without a goalkeeper. But anyway, that is the end of the episode. There is the uh, there is the group stage. Uh, well, the, the league of the Premier League. Um, and then where is the Europa League? Let's just have a quick look at the Europa League. Switching through these, uh, it takes so slow. Um, where is it? Arsenal have actually won a trophy. Wow. Okay, here we are then. Europa League. Uh, Newcastle are top in their group. Here we are. That is pretty... There's only, what, uh, four... Two games remaining. Um, and that means two, six, nine. Yeah, so we've pretty much guaranteed ourselves qualification with four wins and we're still yet to concede but anyway that is the end of the episode please 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 help me out i don't have a goalkeeper who should i put in goal for the next episode i can't believe that has happened i think i jinxed it because i said let's hope hugo Lloris doesn't get injured i hope you have enjoyed this if you have then please leave a like as always the sport has been absolutely insane on this series if you can smash five thousand likes that would be absolutely incredible and until the next one i'll be speaking to you guys later take care